Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at another projector review, but today we're taking a look at a brand new bundle. This is the Mosa Go 360 series. It includes an outdoor screen, an indoor screen, a projector, and everything you need to watch movies on the go or in your home. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Mosa Go 360 projector is an ultra short throw projector, which means you don't have to have the projector far away. Most setups, you have to have it in the back, you have to have it maybe mounted on the ceiling projecting forward to get a large image. With this projector, all you need is a few inches from the wall to get an image like this. And you can see how close it is from my setup. Now the projector itself has 1,500 lumens. So it's gonna be relatively bright. Uh, the other thing is it has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a contrast ratio of 20,000 to one. Uh, from a lamp life, you don't have to worry about the lamp, 25,000 hour rated, and it has DLP technology. Now this bundle includes a 58 inch portable screen that assembles in seconds. Literally, all you do is just open it up and it kind of snaps together. The screen goes on also within minutes. All you have to do is tighten it up and snap in all the buttons and you're set to go. And this screen is incredibly portable, not just for the outdoor or for tailgating, but you could also use this indoor. I've mounted it actually in walls throughout my house. The projector itself has an 1,500 LED uh, lamp rating. So it's going to be bright enough for dark areas and with some, I would say some dusk settings. And you're going to see that in a couple seconds. The native resolution is 1920 by 1080. The contrast ratio is 20,000 to one, and it's using DLP technology. Now the lamp itself is rated 25,000 hours. So this is going to last you a pretty long time. It also has a battery, built-in battery, and this is only specifically for the Mosico Sport of 37,200 hours. So that's going to give you not only enough time to watch a movie or, or two, but it also is going to be enough to charge any kind of electric devices that you have. So if you, let's think about like your smartphones, your tablets. If you'd like to charge it using this, you can do it. And by the way, you can use this projector, as I mentioned, as a speaker only. So if you don't want to project anything, you just want to listen to tunes, you can do that too. Now to maximize your experience with this projector, having an internal screen takes it to the next level. Now, you could go anywhere from 92 inches all the way up to 125 inches. And you can use different type screens. There's two type screens. You can use a cinema white, which is gonna be a standard white screen, but I highly recommend the CLR series. The CLR series is gonna reject ambient light. And this is why I'm getting this kind of image. So you can see that with the blinds open, what the video quality looks like. You can see with the blinds closed, what the video looks like. And then you can see at night, how this video also looks. So if you're looking to be able to watch movies or using this as your primary viewing solution, like a replacement for your TV, I would definitely go with the CLR screen. And again, the sizes you can go with are anywhere from 103 all the way up to 125. Now the Mosico is one of the smallest ultra short throw projectors we've on the channel, but it's also one of the simplest ones. So as you look at here, you have your control cluster. This is going to allow you to control and go into the menu, change input settings, but you also have a remote control that's going to allow you to do that too. You have an adjustment dial here that's going to allow you to deal with the focus. Uh, image comes from here to here, and then it reflects against uh, your wall. Uh, over here, you have two buttons. Uh, one, if you would like to use this only as a Bluetooth speaker and not turn on the projector. So you can turn this one on and you can just use it for music. Great if you're camping and, and you just want to listen to some music. And then this one turns on both the speaker and the projector. So if you're going to watch a movie and you want to get sound, this is going to deliver that sound for you. As we flip this over on this side, you have a couple of ports here that we're going to open up and uncover. And, and this is again, uh, because this is the sports version, this one has the built-in battery as well. It is auto, it's also one that could be out in the elements, so you don't have to worry about if, if you get caught in a light drizzle. You have aux, uh, HDMIs, USB-C, which by the way, also this will charge any, any device as well. So if you plug in a phone to it, it's going to charge it. On this side, you have two ports. You have your power and then you have your trigger. The trigger basically means that if you have an electric screen that either when you turn it on, it comes down or goes up like some of the floor rising ones that we've seen here, this trigger will cause that to happen. This is your main power, right? So as soon as you push this button, it's going to feed power and it's going to enable those other two buttons. On the bottom here, you have... Again, some venting and some cooling, and then you have the ability to adjust the legs. So you notice that the legs come out pretty far, and they give you the ability just to adjust the pitch. Uh, I, you know, if you're having this in a basement, or you know, sometimes the walls could be crooked. It's not just the floor. The floor could be level, but the wall could be a little bit off. You use this to adjust your image um, and make that adjustment. Uh, and now if we flip it over to this side right here, you'll notice that you have some more uh, ports that you can work with. So we have, again, um, USB, uh, you have again an HDMI right there, and then this is a micro SD slot. So this micro SD slot allows you to put in some content if you want to stream some movies or some audio that you may already have stored. 
Now, in addition to the travel bag for the projector, you also get an additional bag where you can house that portable screen. So when not using it, you can put it away nicely and it packs up really, really compact as you can see here.